In this video, we are going to migrate workloads from a source OpenStack cloud to a destination cloud. On the left, we can see the source cloud with two workloads ready to move. And up top, we have the source side conversion host, which is going to be used to transfer actual data. Now let's look at the destination cloud on the right. It's empty except for the receiving conversion host instance. This video is going to assume the pre-workload migration steps have already been run, and all of the resources have been copied over. So for example, let's check that the destination has the same security groups as the source. Right now these tools are name-based, so we can see a testing123 security group alongside the default. And it should have a match on the source. Right there. Before doing anything else, let's make sure the VMs are shut down. Let's also check the Ansible variables for migration. Here we can see the credentials for the source and destination tenants. We can see which instances should be used as conversion hosts. And we can see a path to the private SSH key we used to access to the conversion hosts. Now we are going to run the export workloads playbook, which should give us a small YAML description of the instances we are trying to migrate and how they should be reconstructed on the destination. Let's look at what's inside. And here I see entries for each workload with flavors, network information, and the security groups we were expecting. I also see an entry for the conversion host itself. This one will be ignored during the migration. It's definitely not something that needs to be copied over. We can edit anything under the param sections to tweak how the workload looks on the destination side, like this to remove a security group. We'll verify that this actually gets removed later. Now we're going to run the import workloads playbook to take any volumes attached to the workloads and copy them over the network to the destination cloud. Right now we do sort of a two-step process in Ansible so that we can point out where to look to get transfer progress in advance. Watch for the debug message after the import workload prelim step. Here it is. Let's watch this log file on the destination conversion host to make sure the migration is actually doing any work. Without this, it is frustrating to have to wait through a long data copy without any indication that progress is happening. I'm going to fast forward through the transfer process. After the volumes are transferred, an instance is created and attached on the destination tenant. Let's run the import playbook again to demonstrate that it will not import multiple copies of instances that were already migrated. While that's running, we can go and verify that the created instances match the parameters we specified. For example, the testing 123 security group is present only on one VM, reflecting the change you made in workload parameters.
Putting this together with the pre-workload migration playbooks, these tools enable Ansible-driven migrations between OpenStack clouds.